to say it's a nice story out there because it's just beautiful. I wish we can be out there doing the, the weather, the traffic, the everything because it is just a nice day to take a walk outside. It is a really nice day, Tashara. Mm. You know, yesterday we were in the low 70s. Today we'll be in the low 80s, so mm. a little warmer, okay. a little more humid, but still pretty nice out there, especially when it looks like that. Oh, yeah, it's I beautiful. Mean, DBU. Wow. Mm. DBU. Uh, let's go ahead and take another look from one of our other Dallas cameras. This is from our Clyde Warren Park camera. Uh, taking a look towards Reunion Tower, you can see the beautiful blue sky overhead temperature of 68 degrees. Now, one thing I did mention at the top of the hour was the potential for an isolated storm or two. This will mainly be for our western counties and most of us will stay completely dry. Large hail, strong winds, all possible with the storm or two that do move into the area just north of Abilene and could skim our far western counties. But again, better rain chances on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Until then, we're staying dry as our temperature climbs about a degree or two every day. This is trending anywhere between two to six degrees above what's considered normal this time of the year, and we'll notice the humidity also increasing, so it's going to feel uh, warmer. It's going to feel more humid. On Thursday, we might see an isolated storm, but late Thursday into Friday is when we're going to notice uh, our rain coverage really go up to about a 70%. We'll continue to see it over the weekend. It's not going to be a washout like what we saw last Saturday. This is going to come in rounds of showers and storms, and at times we could see some strong storms, and I'll show you that. But first, I want to walk you through what it'll look like on our timecast. This is Tuesday uh, this evening. Those storms kind of just moving on out of the way. Oh, and we're fast forwarding here quite quick. All right, Thursday on Wednesday. Again, we're just going to see some cloud cover Thursday around noon. We'll see maybe an isolated shower along our eastern counties, but that's really it. We'll be watching this dry line. The closer it gets to us, it'll produce some showers and storms, and this will really happen late in the day Thursday into Friday morning. We'll notice this rain Friday throughout the morning and again in the form of showers and thunderstorms. We're not expecting it to be as widespread as last Saturday, and it's not going to last nearly as long. We'll see these storms push off towards the east and then again a next round and this will happen Saturday afternoon followed by another round on Sunday a and the timing right now that's still a bit uncertain. I know I'm showing you this right now, but the round of rain that you'll see is going to depend on the previous round of rain. So it's so important to keep checking back in with us on the timing of things. Just be prepared for storms this weekend. The timing again, still a little bit uncertain, but what we do know is that on Thursday, the highest threat for severe weather will be to our northwest on Friday, North Texas included in that potential for strong storms and on Saturday, North Texas included in the potential for strong storms, but the general areas pretty broad. We'll be able to nail it down the closer we get to it. And of course, whenever we see that initial rain uh, come in Sunday, the threat does shift a little bit towards uh, the east. We could see anywhere between one to one and a half inches of rainfall. As far as our temperatures go, like I said, we'll climb about a degree or two every day. The pattern unsettled this weekend and then again to end next week to